Roy. <laughs> hey, you. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Just, I'm amazing because you're here. I just want to say um, I know uh, we got to spend a minute or two with each other trying to figure out the audio situation. But I just wanted to say that I am beyond grateful to be here with you today. I love you so much. I know that you know that already. But I'm mm. just going to say that again for everyone watching right now that I am with one of the most amazing human beings in the world. His name is Brian Kramer. And not only do you have so many accomplishments, I mean, like I'll be sitting here for, I'll, I'll take the whole 15 minutes up if I'm talking about your accomplishments, let's be real. But mm. um, thank you so much for sending your books, Shareology and Human to Human. You know, not only are you, you know, the bestseller. Uh, but also you've worked with Forbes and NASA and you're an amazing TED Talk speaker. And not only that, but you are an incredible human being who has taught me so much over the year. And you know what, to be honest with you, Bri, um, here at Neuro, which I okay, I didn't even do the intro because I'm so excited that you're here. But at Neuro, we want to make a difference in the workplace to prevent burnout and to mm. help people in all different walks of life. And so, you know what, Brian, I, it's, Today is so special for me because when I was experiencing burnout this year, you were here for me and mm. you are just such a beautiful soul inside and out. And I, and I want to honor you and say thank you so much for being there for me this year when I was experiencing burnout. So I can't wait mm. to put you in the hot seat and, <laughs> and hear more about your journey and explorations and why you think human connection is so important. Oh, man. Uh, well, first and foremost, uh, this is um, this is awesome. I can't believe we're here and live. And thank you for the wonderful introduction and for what Neuro is doing in the world, because this is the most important thing that we could be doing right now. And what you're doing is, you know, shining a light on um, what I think is is more to come. Um, there's a lot of transition and PTSD in the world. Um from what's just happened and, you know, but hang tight because the roaring twenties are coming. And so whoever you are out there, uh, you know, I paid, I pay attention to all of what happened in 1918 when the first uh, flu, uh, uh, the first one, the first pandemic came out and the roaring twenties happened. So we're, we're, we're going to, we're going to endure something pretty cool coming up here. And I think human connection ties into that. Um, what do we have as one thing that was taken away from us in the last just few years? It, it was connection. And so right. um, that connection is the thing that we desire the most as human beings, whether we're introverts or extroverts or like me and ambivert. Um, and, uh, you know, when you, <laughs> right. So, you know, when, when we even, even when we want our uh, our introvert time uh, now, uh, I've never seen people dive for connection, deeper connection um, now in my lifetime more so than ever. So, um, the the it's a really fun time to be alive to to see that part happening, the connection part um, of life. You're right. It's always a beautiful time to be alive, and let alone I feel like. Um, dancing with the duality of it all, like the polar polarities where we, you know, we go from this like human to human type of experience to all of a sudden have that taken away from us. Um, those challenges, I really do feel it helped. I mean, I'm talking from a personal level, help me grow and help me see things from a different from a different light. And you know what? I So I just wanted to like fill you in a little bit. We're doing these LinkedIn lives every Friday at 12 o'clock. We have 15 minutes and, and basically we get to, we get to interview inspiring souls that want to make a difference in the world. And that's pretty much what the, the value system is at neuro is we want to make a difference and we want to make an impact and prevent burnout. And so I know, I, I feel like our value systems are very similar because, you know, I, I was, the past few days I've been like religiously listening to a lot of podcasts that you were on. And I loved what you had to say about, um, you know, really serving instead of selling. And I think that's what where like neuro stands as well, that it really comes to, you know, when you put people first, uh, when you do human to human, you know what, let's just take a step back for a second for everyone watching right now or listening, tuning in, 
they may not understand the B2B and the H to H. Can you just fill everybody in on what human to human even means to you, Brian, and why you felt the need and the importance to write a book about human to human behavior? Absolutely. Uh, and so that book is my, my, uh, my firstborn, if you will. Um, and uh, she was born in 2014 at a time when social media was actually first on the scene. Um, it, social media is not that old. Um, we all, we all uh, know what it's like to have something that came out at, at a time when, you know, there was like that innovated so far, it, it completely changed the dynamics of business. Um, it like 180 degrees. And the reason it did that, and it sounds so, it sounds so like today, it sounds so table stakes because it, it, so much time has passed, but really within the last decade, um, it, it, think about what just happened. Um, all that changed, the biggest change that happened is that the consumer got a voice in a public domain. We can go on to Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn and Instagram and Pinterest. And, you know, I won't name all the past ones that shut down, but they were fun too. And, um, and we could go on and say whatever we want. And that was devastating in some cases to a brand because the brand never heard from the customer. They only could speak um, and say what they wanted to in a commercial or in a, a public forum that they paid for. So it was a one-way channel or one-way communication. Now, once the, the customer had a voice, it changed radically everything. So that's what Human to Human was about. It was about the fact that there was no more B2B, business to business, or a business to consumer. The customer doesn't care. What the customer cares about is that their problem is solved on the other end and that they're buying from someone that they know, like, and trust. Um, so that, that book was born out of knowing that we have radically changed the way customers buy and have a power over who they buy and who they trust. And so the, 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 power, is, the power shift changed radically. Um, so that, that, was, that was the short story that I'll give you. And you openly also, well, thanks for your short story, by the way, and, and you openly discuss about experiencing burnout yourself. And I love this story with your son. Um, can you can you share with us, because a lot of us aren't as open about our breakdowns and breakthroughs, and I love hearing about yours. So can you can you share your experience going through that that life breakdown and burnout yourself? And like, what was that turning point where you were like, okay, I need to make a change in my life and even though you were already doing so many incredible things, you knew that there was something wrong and that you wanted to make a change. Can you share that journey with us? Of course. Um, yeah. When this is not too long ago, I think this was like a number, just a couple years back. And um, I, this is, this is to the point where uh, I was, traveling 200 ish days a year speaking um you know i'd already given my ted talk my second book shareology had now surpassed my first book in 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 success it was a first usa today top usa today uh book and seven languages and um i was i was keynoting um more times a year than i was at at home um and and i was and and at the same time where i was running uh, our our business pure matter uh, from the road with Courtney, um, my business partner and, and wife. And, and I was not um, uh, on site most of the time, which today is perfectly fine to do remote, but to do both at the same time was a lot. What I was seeing a lot of was uh, x-ray machines, uh, hotel rooms, and, um, and beautiful places. So I'm not going to say it was totally, um, you know, it was, it was a pretty cool thing to do. Like, However, what do you mean x-ray machines x-ray machines to for, for safety through, reasons uh, when in, you're walking into the building like in airports uh i okay. i got to know all the people at at the x-ray machines i i knew bob and um stephanie and i'm at the san jose airport they're they're good friends of mine now um i guess you, you carry know. a lot of metal on you what's going on <laughs> you know you walk through the x-ray <laughs> machine and over time you start to get to know the people at clear um, okay, the got people it. <laughs> here are my my favorite people in the world, and so they see me and they get a big smile on their face. One one person actually grabbed my 
my luggage and he rolled the whole thing all the way. I have a video of it. And well, I, got nice. to, I got to know him. I'm like, dude, this is so epic. And I posted it and I said, this is clear. And then, sorry, I'm sidetracking, but then it went viral. And, um, and, he, and I didn't see him again for like a couple months. And I saw him again. He goes, dude, your video, uh, because you showed me doing that, I'm now a manager at Clear because they want me to teach people how to do that kind of service with other people. And he was hugging me and I'm like, dude, you did the service. Um, so, I, I need to find know, this video. I need to see this video. <laughs> oh, I'll send it to you. It's one of my okay, favorite perfect. things. So that anyway, I, that's the kind of travel I was doing where I got to know people on the road everywhere. And, you know, as a person who loves connection, it was great. But then one day um, after, a, after years of doing this, it can start to weigh on you. And, um, and, and so the business was, was doing really well. Um, we, we had uh, Cisco and Netflix and MasterCard and all these wonderful companies working with us. We'd really arrived to a place where the business was uh, thriving. Um, however, at this, at this, uh, this one day, I, I came home and my son, who was 11 at the time, he said, Dad, I really want to talk to you. And he grabbed me by the hand and he walks me upstairs and, um, and he says, Dad, sit down. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, well, you are fat. And I'm like, holy, okay. And he's like, yeah, and you have diabetes, and which is true. I just got notified like a month before by my doctor that I had type 2 diabetes because I had eaten my way through every country which because the food was so good. Um, and, uh, <laughs> I, 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 get, I get it. I get it. I've been there before, Brian. <laughs> right. It's tough. Yeah. And then, living, um, yeah. Yeah, so living the best life, right? And then until you're and then not, said, until you're not, until, until you're, you're, until you're wondering, yeah, what's going on here. And so was exactly that moment? Right. It was that, that it was that moment with your son where you realized um, you needed to to make a change. And I hear that you don't no longer have diabetes anymore, right? Is this correct? Exact, so so he turned me around, and um, I, the next day I came back in and I said to my wife, "We're exiting everything, and um, I want." Um, I, I, I'm done. So I, I stopped speaking for over a year. We exited the agency over the next six months and I lost wow. 85 pounds. I don't have diabetes anymore and I'm living uh, my best life. Um, now that's not to say that I haven't had my ups and my downs since then, but, of course. Uh, you but need my, uh, yeah, my, my best life has began the day that he helped me see that I wasn't living um, my most connected life to myself. Well, thank you, Brian, for sharing that. I know we only have two minutes left and there's so many things that I want to say. So as you as you see, I'm going to progressively speak a little faster. But so many yep. people, uh, you know, so many people, um, I'm sure, are resonating with what what you what you are saying. And I'm sure, you know, let's just be real. We're, let's be human to human. OK, everybody goes through these breakdowns and experiences burnout. So um, being someone who went through it. What would be your advice for people listening in um, that don't, where they don't know what to do um, and they don't know where to go or who to speak to? I was lucky enough to have you, but what would you say to the people listening in that are experiencing burnout right now today? Um, there's a number of things that you can do. I mean, there's a lot of literature that you can that you can read for sure. I would say ask for help. It's the hardest thing that you can do. Um, but you need to ask for help. Uh, it's, it's, it, it seems like a, a bad thing, but at the time, because why would you ask for help for something that you did, you're doing by yourself, but do that, whether it's a coach or another person or somebody in your hemisphere, that's the number one thing I'd say is reach out to someone and, and get them to help you. You, you have blind spots when you're going through, um, when you're going through it and you need someone. Yes. And thank you. I couldn't agree more with you. Don't be ashamed guys to ask for help and to speak to a counselor. I do it. I think everybody should do it. And if you're not doing it, probably more of a reason for you to do it. You probably need it the most. And Brian, question quick, quick, because I know we're running out of time. 10 more seconds. Ah. Why is building a community so important for our mental health? Community is everything. Community is the power behind everything that powers our business and our mentality. So connect into a community or build one yourself. Um, and a community is anyone that's two people or larger. That's the best part. So b build a community and watch it flourish. Um, it's the future of, of business, I believe. And it's going to be um, the epicenter of what builds businesses from here moving forward.
It's all about community. Thanks, Brian. Thank you for being part of my community. Thank you, everybody tuning in and being part of the neuro community. You know what? I'm just going to be honest. This sucks. I want another five minutes with you, Brian. Uh, 15 minutes isn't long enough. I could be here all day talking to you. So we're going to have to continue this. Okay. This is only part one because we got to do like, uh, please, I could, I, our conversations go hours long. And I just want to say that I, I miss you. I love you. I thank you for being such a bright light, not in, not just in my life, but in everybody who knows you in their lives. And, and I'm just so happy that our paths have crossed this year and that like really you are just the most special human and I'm so grateful for you and words just doesn't do it. I, I love you and I wish I could give you a big hug in person. Guys, stay tuned for our LinkedIn Lives every Friday at 12 o'clock Eastern. Brian, is there anything you want to finish it off with that you'd like to, to say before we head on all? Uh, you know, I would just say this one one thing. It's one line, which is being human is your competitive advantage. Um, at a time when automation and everything else out there is trying to take over, believe it or not, bell bottoms are back and, and doing things that are cyclical, being human is your competitive advantage. So if I leave you with anything that I've said today, I hope that that one thing sticks. I'm giving you the biggest hug, the biggest giant hug. I love you. I love seeing your face. I love you. I can't express it enough. And I'm just, thank you for being here, Brian. Thanks oh, for being thank the you. best human. The best human. Love you guys. And thanks for being here. And thanks for tuning in at Neural Lives on Friday. Thanks, Brian. Cheers. Love